Hey everyone, Dave the NC Picker here, and I am back in my garage pulling some eBay orders. On this channel, if you're new to it, we pull my eBay orders. I have two YouTube channels. This one is more what sold on eBay. My other channel, NC Picker, is where I source for eBay, go out garage sailing, yard sailing. Sailing? Is that right? Do you sail to the sails? Actually, is that even a word, sailing? Is it S-A-I-L or S-A-L? Uh, anyways, so yeah, this one is not the sourcing channel. If you want that, that's NC Picker. This is the shipping, pulling orders, uh, being exhausted channel. <laughs> uh, anyways, so I had these like lofty dreams of having a relaxing winter. It's not going well. I'm having an exhausting winter. But we did sell things on eBay. I actually uh, just got back in town. I was in Florida. I went Thursday morning. I ended up taking a car Thursday morning down to Florida. And uh, yeah, got there Thursday night late. And then uh, Friday I worked my day job. Saturday I went yard sailing and then house hunting because I am looking to buy down there to be closer to family. And uh, yeah, today, Sunday, I drove home. So exhausted would be a word that I could use. And then when I got home, I realized that in my rush to leave, I forgot to order something for my microphone for my podcast. And I had to go get it, but it's at the Guitar Center, which is a 32-minute drive each way. So after driving all day, I got home and had to drive back and forth for like a little over an hour to get the cable I needed. So a lot of car today, uh, but I'm home. I'm ready. It's like 5 p.m. And we're going to pull orders. And the first thing we sold is this guy. This guy is from Cars. Remember the Cars movie? He's like the French guy who changes out the tires really fast. I think his name is Pierre or something. Uh, he's a pillow pet, so like he unfolds and turns into a pillow. Actually, it looks like his name is Francisco or Francesco. Uh, he sold for $13.49, paid a dollar for him at a yard sale. So, yeah. So basically, I bought it at a yard sale for a dollar, sold it for $13.49 on eBay. eBay is going to charge me some fees, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and whatever's left over is my profit. They did have to pay for shipping. I charged them sh uh, shipping separately. Uh, and then I sold a DVD. But yeah, so I am like very tired. I do, you know, I had a house. I mean, this isn't supposed to be a, a moving vlog, <laughs> but you know, anytime you're doing a vlog style channel and you have stuff going on in your life, you end up talking about that stuff. This is crazy. This DVD, the Glass Menagerie sealed, uh, it sold for $41.39. Isn't that crazy? $41.39. That is the kind of DVD I would ignore at a yard sale, but it came in a big bulk buy and it turned out to be worth a ton of money. So that was really exciting. But yeah, we had it locked in a house. The inspection went poorly. So we ended up backing out of that house because they didn't want to fix any of the broken stuff. There were some pretty serious things like it needed new flooring <laughs> uh, and they didn't want to work on any of that. So we decided because, you know, it just didn't seem like something we wanted to work on to just back out of that house. So I ended up having this like rush back down to Florida to look at this house my wife found because I sent her down early last week and she found a house she liked and so I had to go down and look at it before I you know really committed to buying it and so we saw that saw a bunch of houses the one she liked of course was the best one because obviously the wife is always right and uh yes yeah, so we put an offer on that house so anyways it's been a crazy weekend I sold this guy this guy is awesome I'm actually surprised this is a Build-A-Bear Pete's Dragon like the movie Pete's Dragon they made recently I think this is a really cool Build-A-Bear, but it was not worth much money. So yeah, so yeah, that Pete's Dragon Build-A-Bear sold for $15.74, which isn't terrible money since I paid a buck for it, but I just thought it was so cool when I found it that I actually thought it would be worth a lot more. But I'm not going to complain because I still made a good profit. I just, uh, I liked it so much there was a temptation to keep it because I thought it was a really cool plush. Uh, I'm looking for SW13. Yeah, so this new house that we're we're going on, He's not as good for the flipper world as the other one. The first one I had, I had committed to had a huge giant garage like detached that I would be able to dedicate just to like NC Picker, YouTube and eBay and all that. But because there were so many other issues with the house, we backed out of that one. Fear Effect is what we sold on PlayStation 1. Yeah, I was really excited about that because I would have had a whole garage, but... I mean, more than a garage. It was like, it was, it would account for like a four car garage. It was like over a thousand square feet of space that I would be able to use for my flipper. 
stuff. But anyways, that one didn't work out. But this new one has like a decent sized garage, a little shorter than this garage, but around the same square footage as this garage. And it's also got like a little separate room that's kind of off out of the way of the main house that's kind of connected to the garage that I could use as my office. So I think with that office and this garage, it'll basically be doable as far as like a flipper area because I really like having the garage as my flipper area. I may one day, it's got enough land too, to the point where I could eventually do a big garage or a shed if I ever got to that point in my business. But yeah, that'd be cool. So I sold Fear Effect on PS1. This game sold for $22.99. Got it in a bulk buy where I paid two bucks a game. Some of the games were good, some of the games were bad. Uh, all in all, I think I spent 200 and when I did the final math and listed everything, it was gonna be worth like, what was it, like 1200 Something along those lines. Having some glitchiness with the electronicsbay.com. <laughs> Is that what it stands for, Electronics Bay? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, I'm clicking on stuff and it's not going, it's very weird. Very weird. Yeah, I found, see I sold this plush and I'm trying to figure out where it's at. I sold a lot of plush, 24B. I don't know why, why am I selling so much plush right now? That's kind of weird. 24B. We did have like, you know, I'll say this, you know, we're moving near family. That's our plan, which is a good thing. But I think, you know, one thing that comes into clarity when you're moving near family is that while it's good to be near family, you know, with family comes some family drama. So we had to deal with a little of that starting to peek through, but we're pretty good. Me and Tina are pretty good at avoiding drama, so I think it'll be fine. So I sold this little white plush. This is an Aurora brand. These are usually not a great brand, Aurora. But I bought a bag. Someone had a garbage bag full of plush that I bought for $5, and it was in there. And so I listed it, and I think I got 8 bucks for it, maybe 7 Let me look. My uh, scroll's not working either on my mouse. Yeah, eight ninety nine plus shipping. So, again, you know, as a pack-in with a bunch of other stuff that did already sell, it's pure profit. Anyways, yeah, so, <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Oops. <laughs> well, that wasn't intentional. I wonder if that got on camera. If it did, I'll leave it in so you can see it fall in all its dramatic nature. Uh, so I have something in bin 12 here. And this is something I'm gonna avoid in the new setup, uh, putting bins in places where I actually can't get to them. Cause now I gotta put down the camera, try to get to this bin and pull it out. All right, so this is what's sold. This is a, uh, was it a scrapbook or something? Photo album. It's a photo album. Um, yeah, first time it's sold, it's actually sold twice. This is number two. First time it's sold, the person thought it was a scrapbook and it was a photo album or vice versa. I can't remember, what is it? It is a scrapbook album. They thought it was a photo album, but it's a scrapbook, I don't know. So anyways, for some reason they didn't like it. Sold it again, $17.91, so still a good one. Uh, you know, those sealed scrapbooks and stuff, a lot of people overlook them, so they're a good one to keep your eye out for. Yeah, I'm, I'm really like trying to figure out the best way to optimize my new area as far as like, do I do listing and storing in one spot? Do I list everything in the, in the room, in the office room? And then, you know, fulfill everything in a different room? I don't know. It's a lot of questions. It's, you know, I gotta look at some people's like YouTube videos and stuff and see how they're set up for eBay. Cause even though I have a system now, it doesn't mean it's the best system. So I'd like to try to learn and maybe make mine even better, you know, than what it is currently. So that's an idea. Uh, this guy sold, it's a little rescue bot. It's a transformer, like a kitty transformer though. It's not like a, a hard one. It's a, very few transformers are at the skill level where I can transform them. And I can transform this one, which means it's for the uh, the the week of transforming. <laughs> the the bad bad transform people. There's a couple of us. I mean, I know Carrie from American Arbitrage says he can't transform them either. So I actually avoid buying the hard ones because I can't figure out if they're complete or not. Yeah, and so I will say, additionally, having a bunch of family down in Florida, in the town we're moving in, you uh, you definitely get a lot of dropping everything today. You get a lot of opinions on where you should live, which areas are good, which areas are bad. And uh, yeah, it's it's helpful, but also like not helpful at a point, like where there's so many people telling you areas that you do want to live in, that you don't want to live in, that like everything feels off limits. And <laughs> I don't know, it's, it was fun, it was fun. I can't find this. And again, my computer's not working, which is making it harder. All right, sorry, that took me a minute to find. I sold this micro machine, uh, this little micro machine here. 
Sold it for $12.59 plus shipping. Micro Machines are good. Uh, I got a whole bundle of them for $50, and I'm already well in the profit. I think I've already sold like $300 plus worth. So that's all profit right there. I uh, actually went yard sailing this weekend. So it was really my bad luck. I've been in Florida two weekends in a row, and both weekends, the first weekend it was raining on Saturday. And then this, this last weekend that I just finished, like yesterday, it was the coldest weekend Florida had had in like four years. <laughs> so like it was 20 degrees or 27 degrees in Florida uh, where I was at. So the yard sales, most of them got canceled. I sold an O-Snap phone grip for 29 29 <laughs> I can't even talk. I'm so tired. $29.99. And actually, this reminds me of another time I recorded when I was exhausted after Carowinds. Or no, maybe it was Florida. And someone put in the comments that I'm killing myself for pennies. And so I know I'm just going to get that comment again. Like, Dave, you're doing too much. You're going to exhaust yourself. Great news. I'm already exhausted. So you don't need to warn me. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a busy time. But I'll catch up and it'll be good. So yeah, yard sailing was a little frustrating. So there's two things about Florida yard sales. One... They all start really late. Okay, so I sold this Wii uh, Rock Band drum kit, which is like way up there in the top corner. Uh, and I'll pull it down after I record, because I don't want to pull it down right now. It sold for $35.99. So Wii Rock Band drum sets, $35. It's on the edge of being worth it to ship it, just because of how much work it is to ship. So yeah, I mean, I went to yard sales, and the problem was, because it was so cold, a lot of the folks in Florida just didn't have their yard sales. Like, I... Me and my mom, we'd drive there, and there'd be nothing set up. There would be no stuff out, nothing. So, you know, it was it ended up being frustrating. And like I said, at Florida, in Florida, they start a lot later. Here in North Carolina, they uh, usually have yard sales start at 7. Very common time here. And a lot of times you can get in at like 6.30. And people always comment on my YouTube videos, why are you there before the, like, while well, it's dark, is that a nighttime sale? No, I'm actually there before the sun rose. <laughs> in the majority of those situations because that's when people start them. And so, but in Florida, it looks like the majority of yard sales start at eight or nine, which is way different. I sold this little Ever After doll. I got this in Florida actually at a yard sale. Got a whole bunch of dolls for like 20 bucks or something. I'm already well in the profit on them. And this one sold for $16.19 plus shipping. So anyways, me and my mom left at like 7.30 to hit the eight o'clock sales and then the nine o'clock and the 10 o'clock. Uh, needless to say, we were out for probably two hours before I got frustrated because every sale we were going to, no one was there. Two of them actually opened. One had nothing. It was the second day. I guess they do a lot of sales on Friday, which will be a problem for me because I have a day job and I can't really go to Friday sales. So that's going to hurt me a little. And then the other sale actually had a lot of great stuff. And it was weird because there was people lined up to go to it. And even though I got there late, I still managed to find like a single stitch uh, Harley shirt, a couple other single stitches. Uh, some antique like projectors and stuff and the prices were great. So that was awesome. Was, you know, I haven't been to a yard sale since early December. So it was like almost two months since I've yard sailed. And man, was it fun. Like now all those failed yard sales were not fun. It was disappointing. But going to one where like there was actually treasure and I did like, I probably pulled in like $300 worth of items uh, and paid 40. And that was like, man that's why we do this right like it's such a rush so fun and once it happens you're just like yes uh yeah that was that was great i loved that and i had a thought when i was driving back from florida i have a bunch of family down there like nieces nephews um things like that and i bet you at least one of my nieces or nephews would want a list for me on ebay for pay like my kids don't really want to do it <laughs> But, uh, you know, like I've got a niece who's 17, and I bet she would list for me if I paid her. You know, gave her some sort of hourly rate. I bet she'd come list on eBay for me or, like, bring stuff to her house and list it. Okay, sorry. Took me a minute to find this. It's a Matchbox car sold. It's a uh, Cadillac CTS Coupe. Sold for $7. No, wait. Whoa, really? $17.99. That's crazy. I didn't realize it was worth that much. I mean, I'm sure I realized it when I listed it eight months ago, but I forgot. But yeah, going to yard sales was fun. And the fact that I did it in the middle of January was also really exciting. Um, I mean, I'm still doing yard sale videos on my NC Picker channel, but some of them are fairly old, like, you know, early December, late November at this point. So, you know, I stored them up, stored up my nuts for winter as a, a squirrel would do. <laughs> but uh, coming up here, once I live in a place where it's warm almost all year, I'll be able to make brand new videos constantly, which I'm pretty excited about. 
All right, so I sold this, uh, what is this, a pancake putter? Yeah, pancake by Browning golf head putter, golf putter head. It's a putter, the head for a golf putter. So you put the little stick thingy in there and then you hit the golf ball. See, I'm a total golf pro, guys. Sold that for, what, 25 bucks? That was the best offer for 25 bucks plus shipping. I think I had it listed at 40, but I was happy with that. And then I sold Noah on Blu-ray. It's right here on the top, so it's an easy grab. Uh, brand new sealed. Sold that for $10.79 plus shipping. Yes, we're recording our podcast tonight. Uh, trash to Cash podcast. Pot, trash to Cash. Trashy Cash podcast. <laughs> uh, so I am sort of getting ready for that too. Uh, and that's at like 9.30. So I'll be up late, even though I woke up at 4 to drive home. So sold this. This is another Aurora plush. Two Aurora plushes. They were both in that same $5 bag. And that one sold for $11. $11.70. So the two combined, 20 bucks. So... Not bad at all. Sold another O Snap for 30 bucks. Again, these phone grips, I'll run out of them soon, but as I have them, they keep selling, so that's pretty good. You know, it's funny, so I went and I looked at that house in Florida that I ended up backing out on that had the big garage, and in the garage, there was a bunch of Nerf guns, like totes full of them, and then at the bottom of the totes were a bunch of like vintage wrestling figures, like WWE, stuff like that. I was gonna ask them if they could convey, <laughs> meaning be part of the house if I bought it, but since I didn't buy it, I guess it didn't matter. So I just left them there. The next buyer will get to have them. They're pretty cool though. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with the amount of orders. I haven't recorded since and pulled since Wednesday night. So this is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's four days, it's 16 orders, and the total amount's like 600 bucks gross. I don't know what my hair is doing. Uh, like 600 bucks gross, which is not that bad, uh, you know, for not having promoted turned on and not um, running it. I, I might be running a 10% off sale, I'd have to check. But for not listing or anything. And actually, I did bring back some of the stuff I got at that yard sale so I could list it to keep my store alive because I went to grab some unlisted and I realized most of the stuff I had kept was actually a pile of stuff we had already looked up and wasn't really worth anything. So I don't have a lot of unlisted here at all. A lot of it's already in Florida. So I'm going to list some of the stuff I got at those yard sales. And then I also have my storage unit that I'm going to empty out soon. And I'm going to pull some stuff from there to list. So... I'm gonna get back into listing hopefully here pretty soon, uh, but we are in a mad dash to get our house listed. So there's a lot going on guys. NC Pickers always keeping on his toes. I should be like the Jimmy in Seinfeld and just always talk in the third person. For some of you that sentence made no sense, but for the select few who are Seinfeld addicts like myself, I bet you enjoyed it. All right, we're gonna wrap it up guys. I gotta ship all this out. I got to edit this video for tomorrow actually. Usually I run a little ahead. Usually it's Thursday for Monday, but this time it's Sunday for Monday, so I'm running a little behind. Wanna get this edited. Thank you for coming by. Make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications. Peace out. I wanted to add this for the people who made it to the very end. Could you tell I drank a Red Bull 30 minutes before I started this by how fast I was talking? Cause I'm about to go edit this and I realized I just did all that really, really fast. Thank you guys, bye.